why was there no audio? Why? What the? Okay. Apparently, I wasn't uh, talking or something, but let's start over. Hello, everyone. Basically, here. Welcome uh, to another D and D session. We're, thanks, Serial, for letting me know. Uh, we're back here with the quarantine. A couple things. Um, we're down two players. Rokax said uh, uh, ahead of the time that uh, he wasn't going to be able to make this week. Um, so uh, we're going to do something tomorrow, probably with him. Uh, so be sure to tune into that. I forgot about that. Um, and uh, we were literally about to start and Corin lost her internet unfortunately uh so uh for the time being we all decided that um uh she popped on and said uh that i i should play her character until uh further notice i guess hopefully she's going to be working with her internet service provider to come back up and if she was able to get it back up and running she's going to join us back in midway hopefully that's going to happen because dm playing character is weird or other players playing characters is weird because they might not necessarily play them the way they should, or they, the player would play them. Whatever. I digress. Anyways, we're here with the quarantine friends. Say hello, everyone. Hold on a minute. Oh, I'm muted, right? There we go. Say hello, everyone. Hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, my buttons are all jacked up. There we go. Uh, switch over to this scene here. Uh, making sure I covered everything. Um, yeah, look at we're missing all the all the friends above here. <laughs> like all this was all filled out, and then uh, immediately lost Rokax, lost Crimson, or sorry, Corin, and uh, now there are, we're three. So we're gonna three. try to make do with what we have here. Um, yeah, I guess um, now I'm kind of forgetting where we, I was gonna start because uh, we just kind of got derailed. So I apologize if things are a little bumpy, but. It is what it is. We're going to do what we can. But hello, my friends. Are you guys ready to play some? I am ready, my dude. Let's hello, go. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we left off yesterday, or last week. The uh, Everyone escaped from the city that was being swallowed or disappearing. Um, and you were right outside the bounds. And then you all decided that you were going to just go to the nearest town to try to figure things out. Uh, Rokax in the discussion uh, mentions that he's going to choose to go back to visit his tribe and he'll meet you guys at the village maybe uh, but he's going to go visit his tribe elder and see if uh, she can probably explain something and uh, Corin, we were wondering if she was just going to run off ahead in a travel form or something but um, we decided that I was just going to play so I'm going to have to try to work that in um, but so you guys are all walking down a road. You're just headed towards a village. Uh, you've got a couple miles to kill. So this is uh, up to you guys. You can, you know, get to know each other better or just talk about anything for the time being. Um, well, my character is very quiet to himself. So I think Lucy would just be um, making his way, just kind of walking ahead of um, Echo and Pancog kind of by himself. He doesn't really trust many people. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I would say, maybe 15 feet ahead of them at any given point. Just wanting to be alone. All right. Because I, I don't trust these guys yet. I don't know them enough. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, they're the ones that seen me robbing people. Like, you know, I don't trust them. <laughs> so, and I'm the one that got you out of that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, by the yeah, way. Right. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you don't trust yourself. You think they're going to be... <gasps> Yeah. Epiphany. Lucy just had an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to um, investigate these people because um, I've been with them for a while now and we've been through a lot, um, you know, escaping that big scorpion dude and, uh, you know, barely. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, I'd, I'll hang back and I, I'll chat and probably have a chat about why 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 he's why looks looks so distant okay and wh whether we could maybe you know talk to him maybe bring him in to our group oh also something i realized that didn't happen last week corin actually never introduced herself <laughs> it never actually occurred so oh, yeah I guess uh, we'll RP that for a minute um, before you guys head out. Uh, how are we going to do that? You just escaped the city. Uh, you guys kind of talked. That was weird. Um, she, I, I guess, Corin says, uh, 
I'll join you guys to the next uh, village. Uh, I'm Corin, by the way. And so now I kind of look. I can look backwards. I can do. <laughs> yeah, I kind of look backwards. Give her a little, just little nods, like as you know. I kind of, I respect the fact that we all managed to get away, but managed to fight as well as we did together. So I give her a little nod to be like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> just yeah, and I just carry on walking straight ahead. Uh, as I'm walking, I am taking stock of how well my weapon held up during the last fight. I'm tugging on the tightness of my bowstring, checking the fletching on my arrows. Ooh, fletching. Pulling out the archery terms. Okay. Uh, you know what? You get an inspiration point for that. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. Here, for using a word? Well, <laughs> you are RP in your character more than just, you know... I'm just checking my weapons like you were actually using terms. Well done. I thought that was cool. I can award inspiration as I deem fit. Right. Okay. Picture, picture. I've, I've just been watching too much uh, game show <clears throat> channels. Shows. <laughs> they keep having the word fletching come up and I'm like, it's an arrow. It's a thing now. Also, we're get, we got to get some backgrounds. Here we go. Oh, so. This is ruddy mysterious. <laughs> I turn to Echo uh, and I say, "Too mysterious." <laughs> <laughs> it is ruddy mysterious. <laughs> Hold on. Anyone in the UK? Anyone in the UK? <laughs> get that reference. <laughs> I ask, "Where, where uh, did you come from?" I, I obviously see that you you are an elf as well, even though I am only half. From what standing do you come from? I can't... I can't really... I can't really remember. I mean, well... I, I, I did used to remember. I, I, I used to remember a lot. It's hazy. I know I'm a high elf. I know I'm a warlock. I know that much. But... My memory was taken from me and... <clears throat> I'm, I've been trying to piece it together ever since, and I don't know. I, I've got these journals that I keep all my memories in, and, you know, it's too long to read, and uh, it's just messy. I, uh, it's so long to explain, you know. It, it would take some time. So speaking of your warlock heritage, who is your... What school of magic do you wield, or do you have a patron deity, I think? Is that how warlocks get their power? She looks at you with a blank stare. Uh, again, again, she almost in a teary way. She's like, I, I did, I think I remembered, I know I remember, I, I, I you must think I'm a fool or a liar or I don't know. No, I do not think you are a liar. I am just merely trying to associate with my associates and get better understanding of their backgrounds. So am I of myself <laughs> and, my friend, and my associates too. Uh, <clears throat> As for me, I, come, I am a half elf. I am unfortunately one of the children that my father does not want to mention as uh, he had me with one of the humans that he partakes with. But I am still the firstborn, therefore I am still technically the heir until he has another of more higher standing. I understand. I bet that makes you feel le left out. I mean, were you ever a part of it? Or how do you ever feel about it? Uh, makes me a little upset, yes. Uh, but it drives me to be a, a better person, a better 
model of what I think that nobles should be. For I don't see people uh, as lesser just because of their standing of birth. Birth happens to everybody. You don't get to dictate the, the circumstances. Therefore, you should not be looked down upon just because of it. Uh, it also drives me to show my family that I can be better than all of them. I 100% agree. I 100% agree. I think we I can be friends. See what, if you can <laughs> back during the conversation. <laughs> Lucia's just ignoring us. Yeah, I'm just still looking forward. Just kind of looking back. Him, I'm, I'm right? listening. I'm listening carefully to what everyone's saying because Lucia just needs to know people. He wants to know people. That's it. Is before he trusts anyone, he just needs to know who they really are. So, in this sort of situation, uh, he's currently thinking, though, these guys aren't lying. Um, especially after what we just happened, you know, escaped a giant scorpion, the town just disappearing out of nowhere, you know, completely confused. Um, I think now, now, now is the time to be like, yeah, they're just going to tell you what's going on. So I'm kind of listening to what they're saying, taking it all in and kind of remembering it for the future, but still kind of staying to myself, but I'm kind of slowing my pace. So I'm about maybe like 10 feet away now. So kind of like, you know, Edging my way in, slightly, a little bit. You got nothing to say about the uh, circumstances of your birth comment? I still, like, you know, I don't trust them enough. I don't trust them enough. Because I, um, I'm going to go out of character real quick. Something happened to Lushu um, involving family, etc., etc. And he finds, because there's someone out for him as well as him out for them. He doesn't want to talk to anyone about it in case it's someone to do with that person. So he doesn't like to talk about his family, childhood, anything like that, in case anyone can link him to that event. Um, but yeah, that's why he's not talking at all. Uh, so yeah, he kind of just goes back into it a little bit. Slows down. Uh, Corin is going to speak up. Um... She's gonna mention. Oh man, I have to fucking RP this. God damn it. Um, Don't forget the voice changer. Oh yeah, dude. I don't know what kind of voice to do for her is the thing. It's a dragonborn, deep. Yeah, but like a lizard. But she doesn't deep. have that voice changer for herself when she plays. You know what I mean? I don't know. Wait, I guess here. Let let I'll play around with something real quick. Let's try. <laughs> All right. How <coughs> <is> that? <coughs> sound to you guys. How's that sound? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. There you Very go. Interesting to try to do. All right, hold on. I'm, I have to read her back. I'm reading, catching up on her backstory again so I can actually be involved in this conversation. Um, so, what, what do you guys think happened back there? Why are we the only ones... Uh, left alive. Um, everyone else either just disappeared or turned into one of those creatures. Has, has any one of you guys seen something like that? <clears throat> I've never seen anything like that. But I was thinking maybe it's for where, because we're from somewhere different, but I believe you're um, one of us is from around here or from the town. Oh, you're so all that would throw that very that city. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so we we weren't there when it. You know, it maybe it's a virus. I honestly have never seen anything like it before, apart from maybe in plants and magic, maybe disappearing plants, something really small. <sighs> I've never seen it as big as a town. Never. I'm also... I have also never seen anything of that nature. At which point, Lushu kind of looks back. Oh, wait, there's a roll. 
Was that a purpose roll? Did someone do that on purpose? That was that was me. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Corin, uh, she just tries to speak up and she's like, "Well, all I can say is, oh, well, all I can say is, it definitely wasn't something natural that was going on in there." I wonder what I, gave that away. <laughs> I look backwards and um, with eyes darting right at Echo, I say, to me, this looks like warlock magic <laughs> because it's quite evil. It's quite dark. And I've just met her. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm very like I said, untrustworthy. Lucia is very untrustworthy. So, um, <laughs> So I kind of, I kind of like look at Echo with like stern eyes, I kind of say, "Was that anything to do with you?" Like now is the time to be honest. Yes, Luxu, I managed <laughs> to disappear a whole town whilst running and man uh, managing to, I don't know, keep up with you guys, with you guys. And and disappear a whole town and people that I have a moral compass for. Um, I, I no no I did not do that. No, no, and I just no. interrupt her right there and just say, "See, I told you she was evil." <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just <laughs> there may be a See, I told you. <laughs> Winks a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> there may be a slight difference between evil and sla sarcasm. I haven't slight learnt the difference. <laughs> I look at Lushu and I say, Lushu, I don't know about you, but that sounded an awful lot like sarcasm. <laughs> I don't know if you just fail at the intelligence of the sarcasm going over your head. Dang. <laughs> I kind of just, just, just give him a little smirk and just continue yeah. to walk on. Just continue to walk on, ignore it, <laughs> ignore it, and just think about how I'm going to steal all of her gold later. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. James Margaret. Yeah. We'll meet on you later. <laughs> maybe, maybe he has a point, though. It could be one of magic. I mean... Yeah, because, it, you know, like, I said great. warlock magic, and you're the only warlock we've seen. Doesn't mean that we've seen the person who's done it. It could still be warlock magic. Um, Dark magic, at least. Arcane. It, who's to say it was done for dark reasons? We need to know why it was done. They turned people into demons, sent a giant scorpion after us, and took <laughs> and stole the city. You never know. Good. Made a great of good. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the moral gray, like the gray side of this, but, you know. Yeah, snaps. Yeah. She's like, you know, gray. Yeah. Side, you know. <laughs> One must take. I think you're mixing Harry Potter there, sir. But you know, oh, yeah. circle of life. You know, giving and taking, and I, I don't know. I, I'm literally so confused. So I'm just pulling stuff out the air. <laughs> Excuse the pun. I'm really sorry. I'm I maybe need some rest. I I don't know. I'm... That is true. <sighs> you guys did rest, right? Okay. Also, by the way, how far have we travelled since um we've been talking? Uh, maybe a mile. A mile. Okay. Um, is there anything around us now? Has anything changed? Uh, you're still in planes. Uh, up, very distant. You can see there's like a, a rolling hill with some trees, kind of thing. But it, for the most part, okay. it's like um, very <clears throat> tall grass and stuff. You, you can hear? You hear? It's very windy. Um, but nothing of crazy significance has appeared yet. That is the only significant thing that you've seen in a while is that little that hill over there. There's some rocks, you can tell, and there's a, a clearing of like some trees. Um, Echo, if you want, you can roll an Arcana check to see if uh, you know anything or have any additional information about what you guys saw. So also, Pancake, we might be hearing oh, some interference from you. Yeah. Is anyone else hearing that whining? 
I am. It might be my chair. No, it's um, Echo, it's you. Is it? Yeah, because your microphone is the only one that's open. <laughs> wait, hang on, wait. No, it's yours, Vasive. It's mine. It's whenever your it microphone goes on, we hear it. It might yeah, be it... sound effects. I mean, it might be sound effects, but it just sounds like static -ish. Oh my god. The, the, sa that is the static, yes, is me. But the wine... Oh, four. Okay, the wine is gone. Um... Sound. Hold on. Yeah, sure. That would be annoying as hell. Um, okay, so... <laughs> yeah. You, you, all you can... You rolled the same what Corin did. Uh, you just know that yes, it, it was not natural. Um, you've never seen anything like that before. Um, I am getting drop frames. Thank you, Comcast. I love you. Um, They're kind of lagging a bit in Discord as well. <clears throat> cool. All right, I'm going to pause the audio Lag. Right now because it seems to be having an issue. I was going to oh. say, I also have... Do you hear uh... that whining? All right, the whining stopped. It's pancake. Aha. Like I said, it's probably in my chair. Yeah. Okay. It's um. We good? It sounds like an inter interference. Um, I'll just turn down Discord a little bit because my brain freaks out. Um, let's see. So yeah, unfortunately, you didn't get any information. All you know is that, in your knowledge, uh, you've never heard of or seen anything like what you witnessed in uh, your town. Um, as you are starting to approach that little outcropping, uh, you are able to notice that um, there is a wagon that has been overturned. Um, hold on a minute. Uh, I need to switch some things. Having two things open is craziness. Um, you're still about 50 feet out or so, um, but you notice uh, there, there's a, a lot more, tr or not a lot more, but there's more trees than uh, you originally uh, thought would have been there. And uh, the only thing of resembling a living civilization is there is an overturned uh, wagon uh, slightly off to the side of the road. Uh, I'm trying to get this open for you guys. And yeah, your your mic's dropping. Yeah. Yep, I'm hearing it too. Oh yeah, my internet's better. Uh, my but I might have to drop like, stream again to see if it fixes you, you itself. Just... No, no, it's internet, trying to you... kill itself again. Dude, if it kills itself, I'm gonna lose my mind. But okay, let's freaking play. I think stuff is good. As everyone, don't forget see... to claim um, Crimson's character, yeah. basic. Uh We can see. Uh, we got Trindum or Rokax. He got back from uh, what he needed to do, so uh, he is actually going to be joining us. And I'm going to be playing Corin, as I said earlier, but I'm only going to be moving her because she was able to join. She is on uh, her phone, so uh, she's still in voice, which is great. Um, it says I take ownership. There it goes. Um, for some reason, when I take ownership, it doesn't load up people. But anyway, okay. So, uh, to catch up, Rokex, um, you guys, you did not go on to visit your tribe, apparently. <laughs> but uh, you're all walking on the road. Some conversations are happening about what everyone <clears throat> thought maybe was happening with the city. Um, not much further was deduced besides um, it obviously was not a nat something natural that didn't happen. Um, Lucia seemed... tried to blame Echo. Yeah, yeah he tried to blame her because uh, he thought it thought it was uh, warlockish or necromancy kind of thing um, but you're traveling on the road you're all just kind of getting to know each other and stuff a little bit more and uh up in the distance you see a overturned uh wagon like a covered wagon kind of thing um it looks like it was obviously forcibly turned over and um you're as you're approaching it you are able to see uh there is a currently a struggle uh happening right now uh, do we have everyone? We have everyone, right? Uh-oh. Okay, things are opening. There we go. Uh, I need to open up the... 
the map and hopefully you guys can see it this time this guy okay you guys should be able to see the map now my roots my root oh, the song's gonna be stuck in my head now all right let's switch scene here nope still a big black screen i don't see anything nothing's come up for me yet right, here, i see I'll nothing reshare. okay so i reshared it um you might need to check your oh, uh it's come up okay that's good to hear but uh, nice i don't see the black square though yeah yeah it's still a black square it's still a black square uh, that's because it's you don't have black... you don't have uh, players on it yet. <laughs> oh, so we have no vision. That'll be why. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me get you your vision by getting your characters over here. <laughs> right. That thing is always jacked up. Love it. Love that it's always a problem. All right, so oh god damn it! And now I need to add Vrokax to uh, combat tracker because he got removed. Party sheet, nope. Character, drag you in. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that just works. Okay. Drag that down so we can see it. It's slightly annoying. Um, okay, so as you guys are approaching. Um, I guess Rokax, you got to tell us where you're at in the party formation. Lucius said he was a uh, like uh, ten feet in front of uh, the other party members while they were walking. So where would you be? I suppose I would uh, I would want to be um, up front, uh, but obviously if uh, Lucius was sneaking ahead of me, I'm I'm kind of. I would be uh, guarding, I would be protecting, you know, in front of everybody else that is not being sneaky, per se. Well, he's not being sneaky, he's more of a being anti-social. <laughs> oh, anti-social? Yeah, he's, he doesn't trust the people behind him yet, so he, he's not, he's, he's keeping his distance kind of thing is more what's going on. Yeah, because yeah, no, he's not trustworthy. Yeah. That's fine, I'll be, I'll be behind Lushu, but with, with the rest of the party. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to kind of drop you guys in and uh you guys can tell me if it looks something that you're thinking of whoa oh whoa what is this i'm seeing all right so and then we can do like echo and was talking with pancog and we'll do corin here boom can you can everyone see stuff now yes. yeah cool that's, yep. Yes, so that's what you, we needed. You guys just needed to be placed on okay. the map. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, so as you're uh, pulling up to uh, the caravan, you notice that it's obviously been forcibly turned over. There is a struggle going on, and uh, who has the highest perception? Uh, wow. Uh, looks like Echo might have the highest. Also, Rokax isn't in this list either. Hold on. Drag you here. There you go. What are we looking for? Your, what yeah, are you looking Echo, for? Echo looks oh, like your the highest. Perception. She's got a plus four. Plus 12. Wisdom. Yeah, she has um 12 perception. Echo has the, the highest perception. So Echo, you realize that there is uh, some goblins that have uh, overturned this uh, little wagon and there's a, a little halfling uh, that's trying to fight them off. He look, he's in merchant garb and he's trying to survive. Um, you notice that there is a few <coughs> goblins uh, directly in front of you and uh, there's a couple wolves along with them. Um, so at that point, it's a, a roll initiative. Which Ooh, will, can I will... can I also yell out in Goblin since that's one of the languages I know? Hey, what do you think you're doing? You just <laughs> um, th yeah, they'll they'll uh, be a little distracted. Hold on, blam! Oh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. that's awesome. 
Hey. That's super I cool. That. So yeah, you guys can roll initiative if you want. And it looks like it's actually calculated. We all it. rolled really low. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, because um, I know common elvish goblin, halfling, and orc. <sighs> oh. oh! That nat uh, 20, though. I oh, did, too. Yeah. <laughs> I nat 20 for initiative. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Can you guys see what's in front of you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, I can't tell if you guys can actually see because I don't have the second version running. Um, because I didn't want to have to keep toggling back and forth between. Oh, and we we can't move them, nor can we rotate them either. Uh, Rokax can good. rotate. I just saw that happen. Yeah, use the, use the thingy with you at the bottom. No, I can Wait. rotate. Party members, but we can't rotate or move the other ones that like we could last time. You're not meant to. But the enemy oh, ones. The enemies? Yeah. I, yeah. I figured out how to do that last time. Um, but yeah, so uh, Pancog, I guess you sh shout out to him and you kind of uh, th throw them for a loop because they weren't expecting anything to happen, but you definitely have their attention now. Now that I've spoken goblin at them. Yeah. They're, they're confused because they think it was a goblin talking to him, and it's obviously not, so they're... Bah! Oh, you know what? My <laughs> webcam died. Oh, one problem after the other, my dude. Right. You know, one of the things that I like about Fantasy Grounds is that in your known language selection, if you click the language you're, you're talking in, it does the translation, and that looks pretty freaking cool. Isn't it cool? That's what happens like if you that. drag it in. So that's what, if it's translated, it looks like to me. Yeah. It looks like just gobbledygook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's super cool. I like it. Um. Anyway, so you roll for initiative. Echo definitely gets to go first. You got some right, okay. tunes playing. Let me have a think. There's one, two, three, four, five. Where's the halfling? Oh, right. Oh, no. I was trying to see if it would translate it. Oh. There he is. I forgot to... Reveal him. Let me just check something quickly. There you go. He's down by the the wolvies. You got one, one of the wolves' attention. Right. I'm gonna go for um a. Let's have a look. I want close enough. Um, 60 foot, How many, um, feet can I walk, walk through forward before casting a spell? Uh, you can move six squares. Okay. Uh, that, if you go up there, that's a cliff edge, and that'll be difficult oh, terrain. I think. You, you can move through party members for free, yeah. <coughs> right. right. Um, the traveling merchant is there. I don't want to hurt him, so I'm going to back up one. All right, I'm going to use um, my acid splash. Are you uh, sure? Is that not an AOE, which will hit the merchant? And I don't know if you have range for that. Uh, it should be 60 foot. Uh, um. Range? For Acid Splash? What? That's huh? insane. Uh, true, uh, true start. Uh, 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 okay. Um, yes, I reckon I should try true strike, actually. Because... Um, I'll get insight into their defenses and I get an advantage on the next attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for true strike on uh, blah, 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 blah. either the wolf or the goblin. Uh, I'll go for. You're right. It is 60 feet. Holy crap. Mm hmm. I'll go for um, 
true strike on a goblin. I thought true strike was a buff for yourself. Oh, is it, is it not? Uh, true strike is. Um, yep, 30 feet. Accurate. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you know their defense is right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I should be able to use true strike on goblin range, should just about make it. 30 feet? Uh, the, you're yeah. doing the one that's closest to you? Yeah. Your next turn, you gain advantage in your first attack roll against the target. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. So, the one that's closest, Goblin 4. Hey. I don't think there's a save for that either, so I think it just happens. Okay. I keep clicking on random stuff on accident. <laughs> Strike. So, there it is. yeah, just so just drag it, I think, onto his head. There shouldn't be any saves, but it it'll probably remember that you get advantage on him. And go. Uh, hey, that's cool. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, so that would be your turn, I believe. Yeah. Put myself on a disadvantage a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Turn over. Cool. Um, next turn. Oh wait, there we go. Uh, it says it's my turn, yeah. but didn't yeah. Crimson roll in that twenty? So it would technically be her turn. So I'll let you. Hold on a minute. So it <clears throat> skipped. It skipped the uh, people. For some reason. Uh, hold on a minute. Oh, I think that's why. Hold on. I found a setting that I didn't know about. Okay, so... I think it's Goblin. Okay, it's Goblin 3's turn. Cool. We got this. We got this. What's up, Og? Sorry, we're doing combat, my dude. Paint. Oops. No. I forget how to move the map without selecting a character. Fuck. It's so annoying. Why can't I do that? View. Zoom to fit. There you go. Okay. He is going to... Oh, I forgot to draw a line through the... Hold on. We need to do this. Because this is going to cause blockages. <clears throat> there you go line of sight now works for that thing awesome okay um he's gonna move 5 10 15 20 25 30 um one of the goblins shouts over in goblin He's like, ah, oh, he's guys too dark. That's what he says <laughs> in Goblin. And so, what does he say? Since I know Goblin, uh, you will know this in a second. That's what you know. <laughs> and okay, gotcha. Yep. Um, so he's coming over and he's gonna take a shot at. Uh, he sees Echo, so he's going to. Blam. Oops, wrong button. This thing. It's you. And he misses. <clears throat> hey. Um, now it's the wolf's turn. He's going to <clears throat> attack. Uh, he's not changing his focus. He's going to attack the little merchant boy. The halfling. No. You guys, can, can you see the merchant, by the way? Or is he invisible? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's like halfling. partially invisible to me, so I can't tell. Uh, the wolf misses. Wow, everyone's missing again. Uh, the traveling hey. merchant is definitely going to try to attack back at the, the wolf here. He just rolled a fucking crit. 
Raw. <laughs> All right. And uh, he's probably gonna. Yep. And uh, that wolf is definitely dying. <laughs> Good job, merchant. He's going hard at the beginning. Uh, goblin two <laughs> is going to use his bow to shoot at Echo. Definitely does a hit. Oof. Ooh. Uh, what'd you roll concentration for? Oh, that's cool. It auto rolled concentration for you. That's fucking cool. So I forgot since you have true strike up, that's a concentration spell is if you get whenever you take damage, you have to roll to see if your spell breaks and it automatically did it for you. That's fucking cool. And you pass. So your true strike is still up. You did take nice. some damage. Um, you might be in trouble. It looks I, like I see that. Uh, you took a, a significant <clears throat> amount of damage that, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your system shock, is that what that says? Uh, I don't remember what that means, but essentially, your, your next turn is, you're gonna move at, like, half speed. How about that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Because he did a shit ton of damage. Um, Goblin <laughs> for... Is that guy? Okay, so he's gonna... Okay, 15. He's going to attack Lushu with his no! <laughs> scimitar. Bah. At me, at me. And he fucking missed. <laughs> Too quick. Too quick, dude. Wait a minute. Attack scimitar. Advantage dropped one. Wow. He rolled a one and a three. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Can I Yay. <laughs> Can you what? Can I interrupt for a quick se second? Sure. Um, so for uh, System Shock, um, it says uh, it, the creature must succeed in a DC 15 constitution saving throw or suffer, suffer a random effect determined mm -hmm. by a roll on the System Shock table, if you want to use that. Okay, uh, so they pass the concentration DC 10 success. Um, oh, actually your advantage expired. So it rolled two things for you. That's awesome. It rolled your system shock concentration, which you passed, but it also rolled your uh, concentration for true strike, and that failed. Wow! Wow! This so I, this thing is awesome. so he she didn't she didn't get system shock then, right? Correct. She didn't have to roll on the the table. Or perfect. Yeah, she she succeeded her check her constitution check. Perfect. Okay. All right, um, Lushu, your turn. Hey, okay then. I'm gonna attack Goblin Four. Um, <clears throat> so I wait. I'm using like both my daggers, so I just roll one onto him first, see if the first one hits, and then the second one onto him to see if it hits, then do damage afterwards, right? No, you do a single attack, and then you do your total damage. Uh, okay, Actually, so you're gonna, you're gonna get uh, your sneak attack because you have an ally next to him. Uh. Okay then, so I just drag it onto you. There we go. No wait, that's yeah, not what I roll, is him. it? Is that what I roll? Oh, okay, that's what I roll. And then I, do, then I roll both damages onto him, one after the other. Um, uh, yeah, drag the damage, and I forget. Um, I don't know how your sheet looks, but you probably have a sneak attack thing in there. Let me have a look. Um, a bit yeah, you should get sneak, sneak attack. attack. Yeah. Yeah. How do I use it? I think you roll double damage. I think you can deal an extra on, 1d6 damage to one creature you hit. So um, you could make a macro for that. We might do that after the stream. But essentially, drag your normal damage to him, and then drag yep. an extra d6 onto him. Okay, so that and that. <clears throat> oh, you system shocked the goblin. <laughs> you stunned him. Okay. Um, so it rolled on the table for yep. us. So that goblin so is stunned. So on sneak attack, it's once per turn, you can deal an extra 1d6 of damage to one creature you hit with an attack with a finesse or ranged weapon. Right. Yeah, I just looked that up. Okay. Um. So that guy, that was goblin four, you said? Yeah, he's fucked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he, he's stunned, so Love he's that. not going to be able to react on his next turn. 
Okay, do I roll my second dagger onto him or... Because I am dual wielding, so it is a double attack. Um, you don't have multi-attack though, so how does that work? Do I not? No, two, two, two weapon... Dual wield then? Two weapon fighting, you do... It's one action to attack with both weapons, right. but I think... I think you don't add your... Um, your strength bonus. or dexterity right. modifier. Um, it's just the damage of the weapon. Right. So just drop so I... an extra one... Was it your damage is a d4? 1d4, yeah. So I roll that. There we go. Onto him. And unconscious. Okay. Hell I like yeah. how it tells you that now. No, unconscious right there. That's awesome. Cool. Well done. Bitch! So you, you stunned got him. him. So you oh, just fucking gosh. blitzed him down. You, you punched him in the face by slashing <clears> him. And it stunned him. He was not expecting that. And then you like kidney shot him. And now he's dying. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. Surprise. Uh, goblin 1. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he is going to make a shot at... Oh, God. That's the way you do it. Uh, he's an intelligent creature, and he would shoot at Echo... Of course you would. <laughs> oh, good thing he missed. That was going to be scary. All right, Pancog, it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. For my bonus action, I'm going to place Hunter's Mark. Uh, maybe? I don't know how to do that. Uh, it's a bonus how action? Does one do? It's supposed to be a bonus action, yeah. Hunter's Mark. Also, you're you're fighting a favored enemy right now, just heads up. Yes, I am. You advantage on all... Because <laughs> um. Hunter's Mark gives me an extra 1d6 of damage. Right. I'm trying to see. I thought you got additional damage or something by a favorite enemy, but it's not showing. I just have advantage on um, wisdom, survival wisdom checks. checks and stuff. Yep. Oh, maybe you get All the damage that. later. Um, I get. I, yeah. Where's your hunter's mark? Is that a spell? It is a spell. Ah, that's why I'm not seeing it. All right, let's open that up. Uh, you. So you target yourself with it. It's a bonus action. No, it's a. Uh, it's. It's a, it's a spell that I cast on an enemy. Up to 90 feet. That's weird. Why did it say self? And mark it as your quarry until the spell ends. You deal 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it. Okay. Um, so... Do you... Oh, you just do it. It doesn't even say, like, you have to roll for it. That's kind of crazy. Okay. So, uh, which one, uh, get, you roll, or drag the effect onto the guy that you want to target with it, and then it'll calculate it for you. Um, I, it doesn't want to drag any type of spell. Hold on. Um, who I, you, don't, who you I think maybe you click the advantage button down here. Maybe yeah. not? No, there, so, the thing that looks like a dazed creature, you should be able to drag that onto them. Yeah, I... It okay. Won't let um, who are you it. targeting? Uh, wolf number two. Wolf two. This guy. Okay. There. I did it. Yeah. I I just grabbed the little <clears throat> grayed out thing. It looks like a person with butterflies around his head. Just dragged it onto him, and it. You got it. And you're shooting at him. Uh, you need to drag it onto his head. Oh, that was to see if it hit. Yeah. You got to drag it onto his head. Okay, so you hit him. So go ahead and drag your damage. And hopefully it'll calculate your extra 1d6. We'll see. Hold on. Let me see. I think I got this. Uh, dash roll. No, no, no. Just, no, no, no. Just drag it onto his head. Well, drag the damage onto his head and it'll do it both, all of it for you. Yay. 
Because well, I only did the one one D eight. Um, no, but it also did the D six. That what that plus one is, isn't it? Mm, no, that I believe is my plus one for piercing. Oh, yep. Okay, so drag the one <clears> D <throat> six, I guess, on him. I was hoping it would have calculated that for you because it did that yeah. for a uh, echo. Okay, so yeah, just go ahead and drag a D6 onto him. I did, it won't, it won't calculate that. It's not taking that, so. Oh, so, it actually see. shows damage 1D6 on it. Like if you highlight over him, there's a 1D6 C. Interesting. That might be something you can see, because I can't see that. Roll self. Oh yeah. I think it's fucked. Well, the the wolf is stunned. So good job. Um, I guess I'll roll a d6. Okay. And open up character. No. That's not what I wanted to do. Wolf two. Where is that? Um, yeah, that wolf is dead. <laughs> so, dead wolf is dead before it even got so, to go. So, since the wolf is dead before my spell is ended, because it has like an hour duration, can I go ahead and and put it on to Goblin 2? No, two? because you're out of bonus actions this turn. Okay, cool. Uh, but gotcha. yeah, but is that one, did that use one of your spell slots? Yes, uh, but so... it also states uh, in it that, let me see, do, 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 do. So, Oh, mark. yeah, it even shows that you used a spell slot. That's cool. Yep, it says, uh, until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 of damage to the target whenever blah, blah, right. blah. The creature's dead, have... so it doesn't matter. Yeah, at the target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to mark a new creature. Oh, that's fucking cool. So your next turn, you can mark a new person. Oh, that's yep, cool. And concentration up to an hour. That's super Yay. cool. I like that spell. Um, it's so a ranger's best friend. I wonder if it doesn't say, it doesn't say it doesn't use a spell slot. I wonder if it uses a spell slot or not. I would assume no. It, it does. Oh, it does? Well, then it would, would be different about... Oh, because you could choose to have not prepared multiple hunter's marks, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Hold on. Uh, it's Rogax's turn. Okay. Uh, quick question. Um, I didn't state that I was traveling with my shield equipped, but um, can I do that, or do I have to take an action to equip my shield uh, to say that I had it? I would. I would say... like to travel. As a general rule, I would like to travel with my shield on, unless I'm doing something without it. R so. All right. So here's my thought on that: is if you're walking like miles. Are you actually wanting to carry your shield? Because that's going to cause you fatigue. I don't think it'll cause me fatigue. It's just on my arm. Right. I carry it regardless. Right, but wouldn't you like sling it on your back normally? Like if you're just walking, because your arm's going to get tired holding on however big your shield is. Or like if you're just walking for miles, right? All right. So you're saying no? Okay. I Sorry. will, uh... <laughs> no, that's fine. Um... It Normally just makes a yes, small difference. I'm assuming a long run or a long walk, you would be like, my arm's going to fall off. But um, you said you, that's what you're if doing? I'm, um, yeah, well, I'm going to I'm gonna use uh, my action surge to uh, make an attack as well. So um, is uh, Wolf uh, Goblin 4 is unconscious. Yep. Wolf one is if I got kitty corner from that, that's within melee range, right? Yeah, if you get next to him, you're okay. within melee range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then I don't know how to use. You've got a lot more uh, space. You were moving at half squares. You you, ha you had plenty of room. <clears throat> what are you so, talking about half squares? You were when you were moving. You were moving at like this. See the see the square. You're moving half. No, I was counting. I was counting squares. That's six squares One, away. One, two, from where three, I was. four, five. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Um. Hit him. 
So, did we figure out a way that I can, if I use this action, I can't like drag this action, action, oh, there we go. Um, that dragged it so I can read it. Oh, okay. You so it doesn't it. actually like, it doesn't actually mark it for like, because I can do it once per short rest, so. Um, I will, uh, attack wolf one. Okay. Mm. You're gonna, like, kill that thing. It's, it's already Probably. Done. It's already unconscious. Probably. Yeah, the, that one's unconscious. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yep. Oh. The traveling merchant, the merchant, merchant critted him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you that's don't need hard, I could run. <laughs> so unless I go, bam, bam. So I'll just take I'll just take a move action as my uh, as my action surge, okay. and I'll go to there. Okay. Do. That's it. Oh, I gotta. Oh, you can pass turn right. There you go. Uh, Corin, your turn. Uh, what do you want to do? Can, can you actually see the map and stuff, Corin? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, let's. I will open up your character sheet and let's see if there's something we can do for you. <clears throat> Of course, it's not showing up over there, Corin. Let's see your actions. Let's see your spells. Well, one thing I would do. Who's hurt? Uh, Echo is pretty jacked up. Yep. E um, Echo's yeah. at like seven HP right now. Yeah. She's dying. So, Corin, you can uh, choose to heal Echo if you want, or you can Thorn Whip a wolf. Probably, yeah. Um, I think I changed out Thorn Whip. <laughs> oh, did Sorry. You? No, you're fine. Yeah. Um. Uh, what were your cantrips? Uh, here, I'll. I have your character open up on. Her, her cantrips Beyond. are Frostbite, Produce Flame, and Thunderclap are her cantrips. Right. Her spells are Earth Tremor, Healing Word, and Ice Knife. Right. Okay. I have to open up your character in D and D Beyond. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, hopefully you will be able to do something that wouldn't hurt the rest of your team that's in the area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any enemies close to me? Not close to you. They're all at a range. Uh, okay, I'll just... I think I might use Healing Word. You want to heal Echo? Um, yeah. It's okay. like a 60... It's a 90. one... Yeah. You you probably definitely have range, sixty feet. Yeah. Um. So you were gonna heal Echo. Mm-hmm. Well, aren't you nice? <laughs> All right. Boom. One D four plus two health points. Yep. Um. Why did it only roll that? All right. So we'll, I will just do that myself. Boom. Ah, uh, she almost. I was gonna off. ask. Are you are you are you were you rolling an initiative for me? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, okay. Everyone rolled. Um Okay. Actually no, you didn't roll. I didn't know if I you lied. were doing that. Or... <laughs> um yeah, you, you sorry, you didn't roll at all, my bad. Um maybe... Oh, I, I rolled a twenty before. It's okay. Right. It's fine. Well, I was just gonna do wait, I, whichever I way you, you wanted to roll a twenty. Um Yeah. What is your initiative um, of your character? So you would have been 22 here. I can just plug that in and uh, bop bop. There you go. And all right. Next. I think you got to go back up because now it, it would have been Echo's turn. Yep. I go. Nope. How do I set? There you go. Ha ha. Echo, it's your turn. Okay. And uh, Corrin okay, so... just healed you up to almost full life. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, I take a second. Um, ho holy crap. I used to be such a... I used to be so skilled at this. <laughs> um, look, so thank you so much. I nearly died there. And thank you for healing me. I also nearly died there. Um, okay, um, next turn. Mace... Are you gonna mace him to the face him? Yep, gonna take him out completely, just in case, you know, so he's just, let's just erad eradicate. Well, he's already unconscious, so is that a yes, disadvantage but, to him or yeah. an advantage to Echo? 
uh, he, I think he gets disadvantage. Yeah, no, he can't or do anything, so... <laughs> yeah. I think she imagine gets imagine missing a knocked yeah. out opponent. I think she gets <laughs> so you can choose to attack him, he is unconscious, or you can attack someone else. Um, yeah, I, I think we should just get rid of him in case, in case if we get past him and we deal with them two, he might come to and uh, we'll have to sort him out from the back again. The only way they so can come to is if they get healed. <laughs> Heads up. But you do what you want. Hmm. Hmm. I look behind me and I think. I turn to Luxu. I say, "What? What? What should we do? Should I finish him off, or should we carry on?" Um, I look up quickly and say, "Ignore the goblin. Let's help Rokex." Okay. So one. Because he's got another goblin coming up towards his left hand side, so he's going to be covering him in. So we should start moving okay. towards him okay. to help him out with that. The merchant is just critting the wolf, he's fine. <laughs> and there's another <laughs> one. You have, another you have one line of sight to him. goblin 2 if you wanted to shoot him with something. Like your goblin or I your think, Yeah, I've got my crossbow as well. I would, use, uh, I would never use your crossbow if you can use your Eldritch Blast. Okay, I'll use. Heads up. Because yep. the, your Eldritch Blast is going to do a lot more damage all the time. Okay, Eldritch Blast on Goblin 2 then. And you can use it as Let's many go. times as you want. It's the cube first, isn't it? Not the lightning. Uh, I always forget. Let's see. Okay, I, uh, yeah, the oh, cube crap. first. Didn't mean to do that. Ignore the first one. Alright. Yeah. Boom. Uh, you missed. Balls. Oof. Alright, boom. Uh, Goblin 3! Uh, he is definitely gonna take a shot at Rokax. And totally misses. Um, and he's going to choose to hide. Uh, I forget how to open that. Give me abilities, offense, reach, effects. Here we go. Um, boom. He actually successfully <coughs> hides. You guys don't know where this guy went. Ooh. Um, and he's gonna move. Well, since he's a favorite enemy of mine, can I do a perception check to? Uh, you have you'll have to do that on your turn. Ah. So he moved. Uh, Corin's turn, and uh, I've got to explain. Um, can you see him? You can. Um, okay. You might have to run to get to that guy. Here, I got I have your thing open to see if what spells you can do that won't hurt your friends. <laughs> um produce fr frostbite. Hmm. 60 feet. Um, you wanna, you can do frostbite on that goblin. Uh, thunderclap would hurt your friends. She could do ice knife. Yeah, that'll use a spell slot though. Um, but yeah, you could do that as well. So yeah, you can use your ice knife, your frostbite, which is a free spell. Um... I don't think you want to do Earth Tremor. Yeah, it's every creature, so you would hurt your friends. So you can choose to throw an ice knife or just at will do some ice damage with uh, your frostbite corn. Uh -huh. um, okay. um, I'm gonna move like you. how far is the enemy away from me? I, I, I can get you within range. You're, you're within range. Okay. She's about 30 feet away. Okay, I'm probably going to use Produce Flame then. 
Um, it, it is a thing that, uh, the basically the area arranged is yourself, but you can use it as an attack. Yep. Uh, that's one where you can chuck it at him. And it's a uh, 1d8 fire damage. Uh huh. Um, and that is within 30 feet? Let's see. 30 feet. Um, yeah, so you're gonna chuck a fireball at Goblin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can cast a spell or as an attack on a later. You can hurl the flame creature. You make a ranged attack, ranged spell attack. Okay. What is your ranged spell attack modifier? Offense. Nope. I think it's your wisdom, right? Spell casting. Oh, that's Echo. No wonder it looked weird. Uh, I think it says 30 feet on it. Well, that's that's your range. We, we Oh, no, them. that's speed. Okay. Yeah, we need <clears throat> to... Oh, I can't fucking see it. Uh, what's your spell casting, DC? I think it's your wisdom... Plus your spell casting. Here you go. Uh, spell casting DC. Would it say save DC next to it? No. No. I don't think so. It's. It has to do with or what spell you attack. Spell. Yeah, your spell, your range spell attack. Um, it that? says a plus four for spell attack. It oh, really yeah, it's right see. there. Right. It's it's on okay. your it's on your sheet. I was looking at fantasy rounds. Okay. So I'm just going to roll a this. And. And what's their AC? Uh, you just barely make it. Holy crap. And you said one. <laughs> um. It is. Or yeah, one it's one D eight fire damage. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Okay. I should just be looking at the D&D &D Beyond because it's right there. Uh, 1d8, bam. And that's Goblin 2. And he just took some damage. Bop. All right. Uh, that wolf is unconscious. I don't know why it's making us still play him. Rokax, or traveling merchant. Never mind. He is going to freak out actually and hide in the bushes over here and then goblin is going to attack rovecax with his scimitar and hits him for some damage not much and then he's gonna use his bonus action <clears throat> to disengage. Up here. Boom. And Goblin 4. He's the unconscious one. Uh, My turn! Should... Okay then, number 4 is unconscious. That wolf's unconscious also. Goblin is of an. Can I still see Goblin 2? Yeah, like, he, he didn't, didn't he try to hide? He just, he just it, oh, okay. Okay. Um, in that case, two, three, oh, four, five. No, hang on. Four, five. Can I like stand like here, but I'm on you can actually move through. So you can you can move through friendlies. So oh, yeah, but no, um, that that's my last spot. I just want to make sure that you can tell we're on the same square, oh, basically. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Is that fine? Okay, cool. Um, so then with Goblin 2, I'm going to uh, attempt to hit him with my short bow. Okay. Uh, so I run onto him. <clears throat> eh? Miss. Ah, goddammit. Uh, swing and a miss. Uh, okay, then. In that case, I am my turn. Go ahead. And Gobby 1 is going to shoot. He's going to shoot at the merchant. Uh, short bow. Because he is the trainer of the wolves and he's mad that he just fucked up his wolf and he totally hurt him. Oof. Boop. Ouch. Ouch. All right. 
he hurt he he, he took an arrow to the, the shoulder Stunk. pancog okay let's see And for my bonus action, I am going to go ahead and move the uh, my hunter's mark onto goblin number one. Okay. Oh, you're lucky that I made that one a bush, so he doesn't get cover. <laughs> or and I'm also sight. going to to taunt the. Uh, the goblin. You're just gonna yell at him? Yep. Okay. Yeah! I love it. So, you, you, if you want, you can try to speak goblin. Or you can tell uh, the party what you said. In... This is gonna be me translating it from goblin. Uh... Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful <Yeah>. British humor. <laughs> yes, British humor. Oh, uh, if you don't get that reference, you are not British. <laughs> oh, please. In the mist. No. Ah. Brokex. All right. Oh, uh, run over to this guy <clears throat> and swing at him. Swing away. Um, trying to find my stuff. Actions, that's where it is. Bam. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Oops. Uh, you didn't drink. I uh, rolled it in. You rolled yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. But I hit him. I know I hit him. Just go ahead and roll damage. Uh, all right, well, he, he dying. Two, three, four, five, six. Damn. Uh, did you count the ten for using diagonal? Is there ten? Uh, Wait. It's, every diagonal is five. The next diagonal is a ten. The next diagonal is a five. Because these are squares. Because otherwise you get so a by diagonals. Five, ten. And then, so this is ten? Uh, so that's twenty. Yep. And then, and then 25. 25. Yep. So I can move right there. Essentially, yeah. Okay. You good? That's it. Yep. Cool. Um, wow, you fucked that dude up. It's not actually round three, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, Echo's turn. I like okay. this map. This map is cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Also, the. Okay. I like how on the map, like the trees have like the trunk that you can't see past. Yeah, I, sort of I, thing. I think that's really cool. That's really cool. And I was like, all right, it's a good touch. This is a fun thing to do. And like, if you notice, I left some of them as bushes, so there's no trunk. Yeah, I saw that was really good. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> it's fun trying to do that kind of stuff. All right, they go behind Luck two there, which was twenty, I think. Mm -hmm. And I am going to use. My I use I use the Eldritch Blast again. Yeah, an Eldritch Blast is your bread and bread and butter. Right, okay. So... Uh, you need to hit him first, remember. Oh my god, I did it again. Okay. Oh, you definitely hit him. Okay, don't need to roll damage because it already did damage to him. Yeah. Um, awesome. awesome. Oh, <laughs> you hit the guy that was unconscious. Now he's really fucked up. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, I just put myself right in the way of a damn it. Goblin three definitely sees that they're at a disadvantage, and since he's hidden, he's gonna choose to fucking flee. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, <clears throat> thirty. Uh, he made it off the map. All right. So that guy just Oof. went. Ah! <laughs> Or in Goblin. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's that's retreat in Goblin. Remember it. <laughs> uh, pancake, what's um Corin, your turn. Okay, little bitch in Goblin. <laughs> what go. she said! That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh Corin, there is one goblin left. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Yeah, it's within range. So you can try, you can uh, attempt to do an, uh, one of your spells on him if you choose. Okay. Um, think. Um, I think I might do, um, probably one of the, I guess, ice attacks? Um, um you can use, Frostbite was, is free and doesn't use a spell slot, so it's up to you. Yeah, I'll use that. Okie dokie. Um, that is your, he's got to make a constitution save on your plus four. All right. Flap. See, blap. Do I need to make a save? You? No. Uh, yeah, you hit him, and he's got to make a constitution. Goblin one. Where is your information, goblin? Can I grab this? I freaking can. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, he passes his constitution save. Okay. But I think something still happens, right? The target. Oh, he still takes um, damage. Oh no, he he passed. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I was trying nothing. to see if he took damage. I don't think it doesn't say anything about taking half damage. Yeah. So. So he just bah! dodges out of the way of a giant icicle come flying at his face. Um, and then it's. He is unconscious. That merchant is going to continue hiding. He's unconscious. Unconscious. I wish he would just remove them from combat. Lushu. Okay, then. So Goblin 1 is the last Goblin that's a problem, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, then. Um, can I? Because I've got, like, high dexterity and like I'm like a ninja rogue dude. Can I jump over the car? Uh, you will have to roll as an athletics check. Is that the dex one? I always get those two confused. I think Is you can do acrobatic. I think it could be acrobatic. either one. Yeah, use the one ever the, the dex. Acrobatics, plus five. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> oh, 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 your boy does nice. that. You flip just, over makes it look you good. nimbly Barrel with the roll. grace oh, of a god. Just backflip over like a bot. You legless the shit over that wagon and land. So you moved me over where you, where you want me to go, landing, which direction? And you just keep going. It's okay, so should I say I land? Use your movement. So those so squares. So should I? But you did it with. Oh, I can't go around. But I gotta do this to yeah. go around. So that's, that's one, two, okay. that's fifteen. Yep. 15? Okay, weird. then. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> 20. 25. <laughs> 30. Yep. 40. And then once again, I'm going to go for... Wait, was that um acrobatics thing? Was that my action? No. No, it wasn't. Okay, in which case, I will attempt my short bow again. Come, goblin. That's going to be a hit. Yep. Sweet. Mm. All right, here comes the short bow. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you caused system shock. Oh, but he passed it. Oh. I was wondering why they just uh. fucking went off. And uh, he also heard the retreat action, so he says, Fuck! And 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, he's, he's off the map. All I'm right. <laughs> so, you guys successfully managed to... We need to fade out the epic battle music going down. That, imagine that was faded because it wasn't that well faded. Um, but you guys managed to scare off all the goblins. Except for the one that's unconscious. Oh, yeah, they're... There's a couple of them <laughs> unconscious. Can yeah, we take one of the goblins, okay. um, hostage. like, hostage and then have um, Pankog maybe try to communicate with them to see what they were doing? And while she's doing that, can I, because I'm right next to the traveling merchant, can I strike a conversation up with him right now? Um, all right, let me address those individually. Um, yes, you can choose to take one hostage if you want. You <laughs> might not get much information. They're goblins. They just raid caravans for supplies and shit. Uh, but sure, you can take one hostage. Um, and you want to talk to the traveling merchant? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, talk to the traveling merchant. You like might know about the town's disappearing. Because it's right First things here. first. First. Are you okay, good sir? I was going to say, the guy's fucking bleeding <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, you know. He might be yeah. a tough dude. Might be just, like gashing up, ripping his shirt off. Oh, I meant in general. I meant not not himself up. You know, like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> You never know. He might be a badass. He might be a wimp. We're not too sure, but he did crit that wolf first time. So I'm saying he's a badass. I'm saying he's a badass. He's a badass. Uh, to me, he's good. So yeah, I just asked him straight up. Um, are you okay? He's uh, oh, fucking halflings. <laughs> what do you think? Do I look okay to you? I have an arrow sticking out of my shoulder. <laughs> fucking elves. He okay, so he's walking. He's gonna start walking over to his cart. He's like, oh, "God, goddamn goblins loading my cart!" I was just on my way. Before he moves over, whilst he's turned away and distracted, I attempt to remove the arrow from him as quickly as possible to help him out. All right, roll it. Can I use healing word on him? Oh, you're gonna use roll. one of your spell slots. All right. How, yeah. How about, oh, how let me we, let uh, me try and take it out first, and then heal him afterwards. Okay. How about we do a medicine check? and uh try to bandage him up that might be the better option that's yeah. maybe we can okay. uh, maybe we can move off the road and you want to scratch the right. arrow out of his shoulder all right all right <laughs> roll a, roll you a can, dexterity. Do, you can do that just do a medicine check and do it yeah <laughs> roll Find a dexterity out. uh uh modifier cereal to see if you actually grab it <laughs> as he walks away yeah because corin has the highest medicine oh. reading Nice, Corrin. Um, I like your stats that you chose, Corrin. They're very uh, RPE. Um, okay, so he's <laughs> gonna he's gonna see if he dodges the shit out of that. He sees, he sees obviously sees you reaching for him. Oops. If he does dodge it, it's gonna hurt a lot more, dude. <laughs> he. D oh, that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. oh, oh. What happened? You grab it, but he sees as soon as you do that, so he jerks away and you make it worse. Oh, you can totally oh, no. pull it out because you grabbed it in time, but also he dodged and you smacked your hand at the same time <laughs> that it actually pulled it out very uncleanly and it's gonna t he's gonna take he takes another point of damage. Well, he shouldn't have moved. I just I, I just say, yo, my bad. <laughs> You moved. You moved. Uh, you moved. <laughs> did move. out. Like, why would you not move? Why that? would you move when taking? <laughs> to be fair, he didn't see me coming. Yeah, he he just saw my hand reaching he over. He turned away. He went. To he went the, yeah. Fight okay. or flight. You know, he fought. <laughs> so, uh, and lost. Uh, who's, yeah. You're gonna try to. Now he's angry. He's like, "What the hell do you think you're doing?" Ah! Fucking rough elves! <laughs> you fucking just grabbing people! <laughs> fucking stabbing an arrow! Look at my cart! Oh, this wheel's gonna take forever to repair! Ah, and I'm surrounded by these people! There's a freaking unconscious wolf here! <laughs> fucking goblins littering all over there! This used to be a good neighborhood! Uh, uh, really Your camera, sorry. by the way, Basif. Great. He, he, was, he was only trying to help in his own kind of way and uh, I mean you can take the wolf and you train him as a pet and maybe you could you know use him as a guard so it doesn't happen again maybe I mean 
And as Echo is saying all this, I'm just laughing to myself in the corner of how funny what just happened is. Right. Best intentions. The best intentions. Even if I did. Some someone here knows how to heal. I mean, if you can get, if you can trust us just one more time, we can make you feel better. My camera is refusing to turn on. Um. Can I also add to into the persuasion to letting our our druid try to heal him? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Wait, it, it, would would my persuasion check be at a disadvantage? Because now he just does yes. not like me <laughs> at all. <laughs> Hold on, my uh, my camera is definitely not turning back on. Yeah, Echo, you need some help. I'm actually surprised he didn't go unconscious from just moving after he took Come when on. he was taking the arrow out. I rolled a disadvantage. You're awful. There you go. <laughs> My camera is not turning on. He does not trust us one little bit. He don't trust no. me. <laughs> That's well, for sure. look at my freaking persuasion check. Because, goddamn, I have a plus four, but. I mean, all you've done is be nice to the guy who doesn't not. trust you. He trusts me more than he does you, and I've been an asshole to him. What? Hey, I'm only a half elf. I'm not an elf. <laughs> <laughs> only half. I don't even know what I am. And it... <laughs> that, and you know, uh, I'm also dressed in really nice, fine clothes, so he there might just trust Jeez. me because I have money. I have money. <laughs> That's your solution. Not as much as I got money. I got, I got <laughs> money. I have money. I have money. I think out of all of us. I think, <laughs> yeah, because you won that drinking competition. I think. Yeah. Dude, Echo is rolling so in the dough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. I, I mean, I, I, drink uh, I, I only have twenty-seven gold. I meant to retcon that. I kept forgetting there were supposed to be other competitors there with besides the dwarf and the elf. There were supposed to be like two or three other people. So it's actually a competition instead of just three okay. people drinking. <laughs> That's a competition, right? <laughs> things, you, things you forget. Okay. Cam is fixed. Thanks you uh, for letting me know. I appreciate it. I don't know why it decided to cut off. Okay. Um, Corin, you, uh, you... Well, Healing Word is a ranged, atta uh, ranged heal. So you can choose to just cast it on him if you want. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, um you, know. you know, I'm pretty sure he won't let us get within like three feet of him. Yeah. yeah just help the whole blighter. Just straight up. Fuck you, get fixed. And just <laughs> carp it towards him. Take the it's like a 60 bitch. foot range. <laughs> I, I feel range like well. 60 feet yeah, would you... be far enough. Oh, yeah, you can see. Um, More than enough. So, so if you. Or wait. Um, he's I guess he's the maybe like 30 is, feet in front are, of you. Are you guys going to try to do. The medicine one, which requires you to walk up next to him. So you can try that first. I don't think he's going to let us get near him at this no. point. I, I kind of screwed Probably us not. on that yeah, one. <laughs> so, right. so uh, I think it's best to be that pain code. Yeah. Corrin, yes, no, no, right. Corrin, be a <laughs> player over here. Keep it, Hell yeah. Keeping <laughs> the stranger alive. <laughs> Basically, she's the paladin of the group right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Crimson. You're now the mom of the group. Also, I'm, gonna... I'm just that over hyperactive kid who just doesn't know where to stop. I'm going to give you an inspiration point just because you're healing this random pissed off stranger when you could be saving hey. saving this precious <clears throat> spell slot. But you're choosing to heal this poor bastard. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Heal. Yay. All right. He's slightly, he's feeling slightly better. He's like, oh, and his wound slightly clear, clears the more. The, the damage that Serial did to him is slowly <laughs> starting to feel better. Um, I'm going to see if he notices. Uh... Oh, natural 20. He knows that you he obviously knows that Corrin uh, healed him. Uh, she she cast the spell and uh, healed him. And so he, he kind of looks at her and he's kind of because uh, you know what? I'm going to switch to the different scene. He, he kind of gets spooked because he wasn't expecting a giant dragonborn to be there. Um, he was already <laughs> angry about the party because everything that just recently went down. But now to see a giant dragonborn standing there that just healed him, he's kind of... Now he's a little shook up and doesn't know what to think. 
And uh, <laughs> he, he kind of looks around. He, he realizes he's essentially surrounded by all these by strangers. By three elves, the dragonborn, and a Goliath. By a yes. big motley crew. He doesn't know <laughs> if he's going to get second robbed in the second the time in, within an hour. Uh, he just kind of shuffles over to his uh, wagon real quick and sees if he can what kind of damage is done to try to make some repairs. Oh, um, as a as a, like a token of good faith to try and like gain his trust, I've got um. After pulling out 50... the thing from him. Yeah, <laughs> I, um, I have um, fifty feet of rope on me. Um, I'd like to offer to help him rebuild any damage with like, use of that rope. I've got a hammer. Um, I've got crowbar. I've got some other bits on me which can be um, used for repairs. So I say, um, I'm sorry, good sir. I'd like to offer you um, some help in repairing your wagon um, due to <laughs> your previous circumstances and me yanking an arrow out of your shoulder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my previous circumstances? Oh, oh, not when you ripped that out of my shoulder. Oh, <laughs> ow. And then he kind of he eyeballs you and looks around mm. a little bit more. He's He's feeling very wary that he's surrounded and he's like uh if you choose to help i would be most appreciative and uh you get an inspiration point for making up for your uh snafu there <laughs> i did a good <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i had the um um uh, i was uh i had the um idea of offering Either the option of giving him the the wolf, or either skinning the wolf for um, uh, light armor. Bear in mind that wolf is still alive; it's just yeah, unconscious. Just unconscious. <laughs> I, I just said killing. Yeah, you know, I just said you don't, I, don't skin it because I've got a dagger. Because I've got a dagger in my bag. I said killing the wolf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it, takes, it only takes wolf. one point of damage for it to uh, be dead while it's unconscious, <clears> though. Yeah. Yeah. True. I would also like to point out that we have two goblins that are also unconscious, and neither yep. one of them has been tied up. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I start? Can I go and search the goblins? Sure. Well, if they I don't have to, I want to search for gold. Yeah, I want to. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they have, like, the They're robbing a merchant van. Like, they got to have something on them, right? Hold on. Pancake, you're very quiet. Hold on. I was gonna say, can I make sure that as they're like, after they're done looting the bodies, <laughs> can we tie up one of the goblins with like my 50 feet of friggin' rope? Sure. Um, I think 50 feet can do both of the goblins together. Yeah, you can tie them. Like, tie them both together. together. Yeah. Oh, look, I can tie both of them. Oh, uh, traveling merchant, please trust us. We ripped an arrow out of you. We're tying these goblins <laughs> up, but please. Yeah, right. <laughs> We are nice. Um, but determine if we're gonna give it to you or skin it and make armor out of it. Okay, so I will let you <laughs> uh, roll an athletics check, Pancog, to tie them up successfully to where they are not gonna get out. Okay, yeah, you did fine. Um, especially since they're hurting, they're not gonna wake Ooh. up anytime soon because they are been stabbed and punched to death. <clears throat> Uh, just outside of death, rather. Near death. It's uh, yeah. Near death. <laughs> it's almost dead. Wait, what's that quote? It's um. To the pain. Dead. Yeah, it's it's almost like mostly pain. dead. Mostly dead. He's the only mostly. Mo dead. It's mostly dead. He's a little dead. bit less than all dead. I just watched that actually last week with a friend. Love that movie. And she'd never seen it before. I was like, what? Well, that's a lie. She saw it when she was like six. But great movie. Anyway. Mowage! Um, I forgot what I was saying. I got mowaged. Um, okay, so you tie up, you tie up both the goblins, and we're gonna pop them right they're here. They're mostly dead. Um, yeah, they're mostly dead. Um, they are not gonna come unconscious unless they get healed. So, that's up to you guys. Oh, they gotta make death. Yeah. Officially, they'd have to make death saving throws and shit. Right. So, um. Rokax is gonna make sure that they don't wake up because he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't like this filth. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing at both of them. <laughs> what are, what are you swinging? Whilst they're yep. tied up, you horrible <laughs> bastard. Yep. All right. Hey, questioning them. Oh, Whoa! Hang on. Before you do that, Dead, did you did, did did we search them? 
Yeah. Well, you can still search them when they're fucking. Well, you can search them. Oh, yeah, you're right. They're gonna have their stuff. Yeah. They don't. Oh they don't despawn. Dying. Don't worry. Yeah. They don't despawn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. You fucking nuke them. God damn it. How do I delete it? Okay, and I, I walk over here. I, as I am helping the traveling merchant and near where Rokex just killed him, I look over whilst helping and just say, Really? Uh, wait, okay, so really? Who, who all searched They're the filth. goblins? Uh, oh, me oh, and me Orin are... wanted to search the goblins. I feel like yelling ex exemplatives at, at Ro. Rokax. Rokax for killing our goblins that we were going to interrogate in Goblin. You're going to do what? I'm going to basically cuss you out in Goblin. Yeah, okay. Because we, wa <laughs> we, we wanted to know what happened to the town, and they maybe might have had some knowledge. Now we have only got one person. Do you think, I think the merchant would have more goblins information. Are yeah. yeah, goblins, goblins are there are just dumb. to steal stuff. That's it. The merchant, yeah. he's, he's got some intelligence here. He's goblins the guy to talk to you right now. Goblins hide in holes and they steal shit and they kill shit. Their um, lack I of will, I will go knowledge and understanding is very low. Pancake, since they are your favorite enemy, I will also back that up saying <clears throat> there's probably no way in hell they would know what the hell you were talking about. Uh, they are very simple minded. They hunt in packs and they just try to steal shit. Gotcha. That and Rotax is just a massive step psychopath more than a beast. Him. Yeah. Yeah. So the, you'll you would have that information as your favorite enemy. Okay. They're pretty easy <clears throat> to take advantage of because they're low intelligence. The only the only reason they carry a threat is their numbers and uh, their mobility kind of thing. Okay then. So since well, he's killed gonna... them, I'm gonna start searching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to be taking a my short rest while they're while they're doing that. So we're going to be hanging out here for like an hour, right? Uh, At least I will be. Sure. Uh the, the merchant guy is busy trying to put his wagon together. Um <laughs> and uh you, what are you guys going to split the gold? You got to let each other know that you found stuff in their pockets. What are you doing? I'm I'm going to see what there is first. And uh Yeah, I, I'm a rogue. <laughs> I'm a thief. <laughs> what right. do you expect? You're gonna trust me? I might go over to the merchant and ask uh, if he if he would like some help trying to repair what he finds damaged, seeing if we could. Um, and who else searched? Corin, right? Yeah. Yeah, Corin. Okay. Cookie time. Oh, we're getting cookie times. Hold on. Um, okay. Oh, pancake coming into cookie times. <laughs> um, so you guys performed your searches. What else are you doing? Anything? You, you help the want, merchant? I want to help cookie and time. interrogate the merchant about if maybe he might have noticed villages and towns going missing because he obviously might uh deliver to them yeah, he's a traveling merchant he must know the area so exactly okay. yeah um, makes sense you come over talk to him and he's like this is a very town what towns don't just disappear i'm just on my way to to where was i going what am i doing oh so he here? forgets okay <clears throat> so that's an interesting thing. Uh, he so away we from still remember the town for a minute, and he's yep. like, he's obviously very confused as what he's doing out here. He knew he was delivering something, but he can't remember where. What was the name of the town again? Eldaria. Uh, I turned to the merchant and I said, "Good sir, uh, you trying to go to Eldaria?" He looks at you. and He's like. Aldaria. What's uh what's that what's Aldaria? That would have been the nearest town, uh, a couple miles back. Uh that apparently has just gone missing. Giant scorpion creature and undead demon spawns uh showed up out of nowhere. I've got an idea. 
Okay, Can well, anyone? Before you do your idea, he's gonna respond to that. Okay. Uh, he's gonna. He blinks at you, confusedly. Oh, like I'm just insane. Listen, sister, I've been running this trade route for over thirty years, and I must tell you, there's no such place of Aldaria anywhere near here. So I don't know what you'll be going on about. I don't know why I gave him a Scottish accent. I just suddenly knew. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I something would... in Lushu tells him that this guy isn't actually legit. So to make sure that he is a legit merchant, I say to him, do the reins match the the wills? So I'm using thieves con, the, the way of speaking amongst thieves so they understand what's going on. Um, is there a way to know that he's... Yeah, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> He's gonna look at you like, uh, and he's gonna blush because he thinks you're hitting on him now. Oh fuck! Because he thinks. That oh he's my god! I just, I just kind of, re I just kind of realized. Yeah, yeah. yo. Yeah. Uh, what? what are you talking about? Just You've got a sexy voice. Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> Sorry, he's not. He's, he's not a thief then. Okay. Good to <laughs> he really know. He's kind of like you. Just, he hates me, dude. Yeah. I kind of look. He is okay. not okay with you. You're rolling disadvantage on any interaction with him from now on. <laughs> I, 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 I turned to Rokax and I said, "And here I thought I was the one trying to seduce people. I, I didn't know you swung that way." That was amazing. I'm so glad. <laughs> Lucius just kind of looks down at his feet and just kind of like kicks the ground and like jumps away like. <laughs> Just leave me alone. And I go and take my short rest using trance, which means that I can, you know, do it in twice and four times quickly for uh, a rest. I'm just going over here. I, I was going to see if anyone <laughs> could use detect magic on him. To well, we might be under a spell. Like... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He might that's be a under one. a spell um, or commanded or something to go travel somewhere. Look at and Corrin that's why he can't. Look the D&D no knowledge. Woo! <laughs> Command spell. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so if, uh, well, I, I'm assuming, Corin, you, you had the idea. You want to roll for that? Um, yeah. Uh, um, I wish your you're rolling for up. me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you're. Oh, what is that new thing? Detect illusion. That's, um, that's like a perception or something. We will do... Oh, that's an in... Uh, what do you guys think? Anyone that's played before? I think it would be more... Perce oh, not me. I, mean, I think it would be insight. perception. For so that detect magic? Wouldn't... Well, actually, you're oh, trying wait. to detect magic. It would be an arcana check, right? Yes. I feel yeah, like it would be. Um, there you go, then. Like, my brain Yeah, is so that would be... It would be yep. intelligence or whatever. Yep. Okay. Um... um as far as you know, Corrin, uh, he's not under mm -hmm. the effects of uh, any sort of spell. That's weird. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking, could it be like, you know, he hit his head when the carriage Maybe. overturned? Or I think what we should do is before we ask too many questions, we should try and find someone else and see if they remember the town. If more than one person doesn't remember the town, but we do, that's a huge thing. This guy might have just hit his head when the carriage overturned. So, you know, I couldn't really care about him anymore. I've, I'm just embarrassed to be around him. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, he I'm just on him. It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Rokak is satisfied that he's he's helped out, so he's ready to move on. Okay, Lucio okay. is so ready to move on. <laughs> I. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna go build a campfire over here and invite Lushu over to take a shot. I'm gonna dash something. over there so quick. <laughs> I, take, <laughs> I take one of my journals out and write down everything that um, the, the merchant boys said, um, just so that I can t look back for reference. Um, I don't see him being any problem. I don't see <clears throat> him being anything bad. I think he's been through enough today i i, I, I poor boy let, let's just let him go in his bag wagon he, he yeah he, he's getting campaign boss campaign boss you know what I mean. 
Yes, he's going to be the NPC, the big bad evil guy that's yeah. going to show up. You know, <laughs> like, hi, hey, remember me? show up at the end. He's just going to transform me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, is anyone interacting with him still? You're, um, um I think out? I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna take a note of like the the city or um that he said before that he was headed to that he can't really remember. That way we can just like try to find some information on it. Uh I'm going to ask the merchant what Echo had asked earlier. Uh since he seemed a little flustered after <laughs> getting <laughs> get <on. laughs> oh <my God. clears throat> Makes sense. Um, <laughs> so, was there anything you wanted to do with the wolf? Uh, my friend Echo here had previously asked, uh, but you didn't really respond. Um, how would you respond to that? Rokex killed the wolf. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He could yeah, just, Rokex like, skin the yeah. wolf and maybe uh, use that's the what we're asking, is if you or something is alive, it's like a guard wolf from oh. now on. He, he said he he's trying to get it. He thinks to himself for a little bit, and uh, he's like, "I have no skinning tools or anything of use. I'm a, I'm a goods dealer. I don't, I don't want to carry this wolf carcass along with me to a town to try to get it skinned. Nah, just leave it for the buzzards. I'm pretty sure one of us can skin it for him. Yeah, can I take yeah. the wolf, skin it, and then can I try to cut it into portions, and so we each get some like rations, like." One person gets one ration each. Do you have any salt? Oh, okay. That's gonna go bad very quickly. <laughs> Echo's we can just eat it right now. Whoa, whoa, Rokex making a campfire. We could cook it right yeah. here, right now. You guys gonna have a nice campfire of wolf? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, right. that sounds yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isn't that wolf very gamey, though? Isn't it, like, very stringy? I mean... Like, hey, it's yeah. either that or goblin. It's, Egger, good, yeah. it's up to you. Eggers can't be choosers. Or merchant. We can kill the merchant in the inn. It's up to you, Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> itching. You just want to kill the merchant well, so you cannot say so he can't say anything to you about hitting on him. I definitely suggest we make him. I draw my crossbow armor. and aim towards the merchant. <laughs> I I pass on having uh, the merchant meat. <laughs> <Goblin Yeah>. meat. <laughs> the merchant meat. The merchant meat. Apart from the merchant meat, let's make him some armor. As for the wolf. Okay, meat how about meat. yeah? We take the wolf, we skin it, give him the pelt to sell, and we keep the meat to eat right now. All right. Uh, do any of you have skill in skinning? Um, um, Hancock might be the most viable one. Well, my my character spent eight years living in the woods by himself, away. I think it would so be he had to survival. survival. I've got I think it would plus be survival, four in survival yeah. because yeah, I used I'm to live dead. in the woods and have um, yeah, survived. Uh, I have plus right. three. Um, or would Corim get a bonus being a druid? She understands animals and animal anatomy probably. Would it be yeah, better? Have skill with a skinning knife. Right? Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, so I will let. Echo, Pancog, and Lushu choose who gets to skin it. You can't help the other person because you'll just get in the way. So uh, what role is it? Survival? Is it survival? It's survival. Sure, we'll roll survival. <laughs> who has the highest survival? I have plus I have two. Plus three. I might have some survival. Uh, I don't... Push it to plus Echo. Four. Echo has plus four. It might be best to let Echo roll it. Probably. Yeah, so... Alright, go ahead and roll Echo, did you want to roll survival? Come on! On it. Hopefully, it's a good world. Skin that wolf! <laughs> Don't fuck up the pelt. Critical fail, stabs right through it and just disintegrates. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm praying. I'm betting. You know what, you're gonna roll a 14. <laughs> Get a roll a 14, watch. I'm calling it. I'm, uh, I'm giving you guys all a short, short rest right now. Oh, it's not letting me take my turn, I think, because we're in short because um, I'm in short rest. I think. Oh, you should be able to just drag just it drag in. Drag it to the chat. Yeah, so go to your skills tab, go to the bottom survival, and drag the plus modifier into the chat. Yeah, it's not letting me open it up. It's been... What? I yeah. can do it. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's letting me. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> well. Oh, oh you don't. Freeze. You don't open it. I up. can click you everything else. No, no, no. You don't click it. 
you you drag your. Plus oh, four I see. Just... I can see it. I can see it. Freaking here. Yeah, the plus yeah. four thing. Just drag that into the <laughs> chat. Three. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Oh my god. It's all good. You got it. Go on. <laughs> so yeah, just drag that into chat, and then it'll roll it for you. You gonna drag it? Did we lose her? Hang on. Uh, <sighs> One sec. Uh oh. Oh, I thought we disconnect. I thought we lost someone. Woo! I was like, no, nope. I gotta fix everything again. She probably just got muted or something. Oh yeah, her stuff freaks out sometimes. Yeah, maybe her. Trying to do both. Oh, okay. Hey, can I use my inspiration point to try to get her to roll? <laughs> oh, you you want my to, screen? I mean, she has her own inspiration point too. There we go. But it, Wait, really, <laughs> do you guys want to use the question? Is do you really want to use an inspiration point to skin a wolf? No. I mean, you can yeah, it's a bit if much. You want. So just let me know if uh, that's what you want to do, Pancog. Mm, no. Okay. Um, I feel like this dude is enough, and if we just give him a ruined pelt, and just... <laughs> I feel like we should just give it to Rokax, and he can wear it around his hips as, like, a, Whoa, a trophy froze. for killing. <laughs> Why did everyone freeze? For giving it to Lushu, and remember it's for this merchant. I'll <laughs> Yo, what happened to my your guys' uh, cams are all not working anymore. There it goes. Cool. Thanks. Just randomly not work. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so uh, you don't do the best job at skinning the wolf. Uh, you give up about halfway through. I'm just like, ah. This blade wasn't sharp enough, and uh, but you do get the meat, so you guys can have a, a wolf <clears throat> feast tonight, if you so desire. Wolf kebab. Wolf kebabs, yes. Um, Yum. <laughs> seeing as we're on a um, short rest, can we take a five-minute break just to go like go toilet, get a cup of tea, oh, yeah, do you guys some other stuff? Take a break real quick. Yeah, just take a five-minute break. That's fine. So, yeah. Let's uh. Yeah. Do that. Awesome. And uh, yeah. be right back, my friends. All right. All right. Um, so all that went down. Uh, that poor merchant. You guys are just leaving him alone to put his wagon together. Uh, you're muted, Rokax. Question: How many spell That's slots do I have left? Uh, how many spell slots do you have left? Uh, mm -hmm. You have one. Okay. Um, well, actually, if you guys are gonna eat <coughs> wolf, um, you'll you'll have a full rest, so you'll get all your spell slots okay. back. Okay, that's what I was kind of wondering. Cool. That means I get one too, right? You get all of them back if you get a if you yeah. do a full yeah. rest. So, full rest is up. Um, those goblins are dead, so might as well delete them. <laughs> and uh, that wolf is definitely dead because uh, you tried to skin him. We ate it. And you ate it. it it's in your belly. In our belly. Get um, in our belly. Okay, so um, that merchant is <laughs> trying to put together his wagon. You guys now have a full belly of wolf, uh, whoever partook in the weight wolf. Did you guys just eat wolf jerky? Yes. I guess Basically, so. Basically, yeah. Okay. Wolf, sure steak. wolf, wolf steaks. Mm -hmm. All right. You just kind of hung it onto a, a tree branch. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, you're all, you're all full. Did you share with the merchant at all? No. Of no. <laughs> no. I shared? He no, I, to do not me. If he, yeah. th if I started sharing with him, he'd think less. Yeah, he, he think would, more. He take oh, well, 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 no, I, I will share a piece. Fine. I would have shared a piece with him then. <laughs> I would. That's fine. <laughs> if anything, Corin just ate it raw. <laughs> if she wanted to cook, all she had to do was he bring flames on it. Stupid fat hobbit. You know, 
when they're cooking the potatoes and the, the, <laughs> the rabbit. Um. Anyway, okay. Potatoes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um. <coughs> so the uh, <laughs> the merchant gets his wagon up in uh really janky order, but it'll travel now. Um, and he sarcastically says to you, "Thanks for the help. I'll be on my way now." And uh, he's actually just gonna head back to town where he just came from because he doesn't remember where his delivery is supposed to go. Hmm. <clears throat> we, I kind of I look well, at everyone I, around the campfire and just say, "Thank God that's over." Well, <laughs> I, I I know for a fact that he told us the next town he he was going to in the diary. And um, I also know that he couldn't remember the last town that he just went to that disappeared. Quite possibly, there may be a chance that the town that he's going to may not already be there or may be about to disappear. Now, do we follow him to this town or do we carry on on our own way? That is a question. That is totally up to you guys. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. Um, let's, uh, let's escort him. Let's escort him back. He's hurt. We can escort him back to the town. Yeah, but I kind of just don't want it. No, I just, I just kind of don't. Of course you don't. Like the moody old man that doesn't want a pet, but then falls in love. Because thieves can't. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to continue and find out more about this, what is it, this city or whatever that he was headed towards. Kind well, he of. was headed towards the city um, that you guys just escaped. Oh, okay. I think I think it will lead us oh, yeah. on an absolute wild goose well, chase if we were to follow him because he doesn't like remember he where he's going city. either. Yeah, if he doesn't remember where that. he's going, how does he know what his destination is? So how how do we know that we're actually following him for a reason? Does like, he? We could him? we could just be following like a wanderer. We could just we try know. one destination, see if he's got a map on him. See if one of the destinations is a bit dodgy, see if it disappears, you know, any people floating off into the sky, scorpions, etc. You know, if it's none of that weirdness, then, you know, it's all good. We'll just leave it at that, you know, stock up and carry on on our own way. Uh, but if there's more to it, maybe we should investigate it further. Yeah. What I think. Right, that's I what think I what, think. I... I know 1,000% this is what Lucy would do. He'd try his luck one more time because the guy's about to leave. <laughs> so to see, because we were just discussing a map around the, the campfire. I'm, I'm guessing Echo and Corin, even though on the map they're not around us, they are at the campfire because they're eating. Um, so we've all discussed it. Um, I'm going to see if I can pickpocket him because I am a fantastic thief. To see oh if I can God. find the map. I'm gonna go. Uh, he's gonna turn around and catch me reaching for that fucking booty, and uh, that's it. That that's just all. Ev no, oh, like Lucy's reputation is gone. But that's the way Lucy rolls. He, you know, <laughs> I did really well or really bad. So I am gonna I'm gonna go over to Nya, and I am gonna roll a sleight of hand check to see if I can pickpocket him. For fuck's sake. Oh yeah, you've a hard fail. He actually thinks you're grabbing for a reach for a pass. Oh my god! He thinks you're trying We're to cop a feel, and he flails around, and you are unarmed, or uh, you are unaware. So you're gonna roll at dis. <laughs> you have disadvantage, right, Matt? And Matt, now, my dude. Wait, hang on. I should have rolled a disadvantage there in the first place, so that one yes, doesn't count. Yes, you I, it's pretty low chance that you're gonna get lower than a four. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he could, have, he could have made it a one. You didn't even need that disadvantage. He you in the face for two damage. No! No! <laughs> Max HP, what? 13. No, there we go. Means, no, you freaking out of here. I don't want... You know what? You're walking to the town. I'm out of here. Watch your friends. <laughs> Getting ready by the okay. and then wolves showing up, and then these freaks showing up, flirting with me, and I don't want into. I'm not into elves, and I'm just going to just trailing off. Just, I'm just going to go on my own merry way. Uh, I was going to look back towards everyone else near the campfire and say, I don't think we should follow him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Uh -huh. 
Oh. I wonder why. Oh. I, I figured that was gonna happen. <laughs> Every time I'm the best. Uh, thief. <laughs> <laughs> is not Forest. doing well for himself. <laughs> I'm not being the best thief. I'm not would... being stealth. I would also like. If you like, guys wonder why I want to be alone. <laughs> what what? Uh, it, if this keeps up, said... I'm just... oh, hold on, Pancake. If I'm... this keeps up, I'm just gonna say, your thieves guild just knew you were a horrible thief, but they just, you know, were very supportive. <laughs> just... yeah, man, they were those supportive parents at the school game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Did, they, did they give you a helmet while you were there? Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he wears a crash helmet. Go, yeah, go ahead, Pancake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Lushu, I would just like to reiterate something that Rokak said on the first day that we met. After you failed to outdrink the dwarf and the elf. And the what of it? Cheats. He didn't even make it to round one. He got disqualified immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I tried cheating! It wasn't because I couldn't handle the drink, I tried cheating at it. Yeah, because obviously your thieving skills are non-existent. Mm. At which point, I, at which point, I just try my luck. I come over here and I just say, "Oh yeah," and I roll a sleight of hand. <laughs> to who? Oh my god! <laughs> to, 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 to Bangkok to try and take something out of her bag. Okay, well she's fucking away. Oh, You're... she's she's very aware. She's that, very aware. A, you have to roll a NB, you know. dude. <laughs> oh, I have to. Mm. She's staring you down. I'm staring right, right at you. At you. <laughs> oh my lord, I give up. <laughs> Do I get advantage on this? You, you don't need it. don't need roll. it. I just you're, rolled you're a crit per, one. Yeah, your passive <laughs> like, perception is Oh fine. my. Okay, you so steal can I, can from I yourself. Like, Lushu was him? definitely <laughs> the guy that everyone just kind of let do what he was doing. I know, this is awful. <laughs> Pretty can, sure you just reached for a pocket and went right in your own. Um, My entire backstory oh. is just non-effective now. <laughs> yeah. Hancock, you, you just... You look at him as he's trying to reach for it, you just slap his hand away, like, really? <clears throat> you do that again, you should, and I will cross you, you in the next counter, room. counter sleight of handed. That would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> would it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, hell no! Hell no! It's too late. It's too late. I, I oh, came up with man. It. That's DM idea. It's not fair. Oh. I would have lost okay, my mind. Okay, no, continue. I'm gonna fucking if you attempt to steal from me again, I will clock you into next week after stabbing you. After stabbing you? <laughs> not only would you take stabbing damage, you'd take a punch to the face. Which he just took. <laughs> but right. from what I, 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 I just kind of, I just kind of look down, and just kind of start walking away from the others, just out of pure <laughs> shame. This pure shame and embarrassment of what just happened. <laughs> you see my character face palming. <laughs> well, I just, Corin, I... actually, Corin doesn't really understand uh, other races quite so much yet, so she's probably just confused as what the hell is just happening. <laughs> probably. Is, like, is this normal? <laughs> I, I look at Echo and I just start giggling madly. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. It's the most we've got oh, out God. of him since we met him, so, <laughs> know. you know, <laughs> it's something. <laughs> oh my God. So basically, that actually is, that is the most interaction you've had with Lucy. We have a start. rogue who does not rogue. The rogue that doesn't yeah. rogue. Yeah. Like yeah, and a rogue. rogue, rogue. We have a rogue that's gone rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I, I can work this into my story, actually. It's okay, I can work right. this in. I can, rogue, I can work rogue. this in. Don't worry about it. I look forward to it. Um, okay, okay, so what, what are you guys doing? Um, I I agree with Echo and Corin. We should head to the, the nearest town, but obviously our following the motion plan has gone astray because of our dear friend Lushu. <laughs> I'm sure the road will take us where we need to go. I'm sure if we had stalked the merchant, he would have found out eventually because Lushu wouldn't have been able to stay stealthy. <laughs> well, that plus we have a Look Goliath that. That and the face a of dragon board. Look at that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that just, I need to get a zoom in functionality for each of the portraits for that exact moment. 
Just when shit goes perfect. really wrong, that's like coming, that's coming for next week. Each year, portraits is gonna get a whoop. <laughs> wow. Or dramatic. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Black dun, and white dun, effects dun, slowly dun, zooming yeah, in. Exactly. Yeah. That's Hello, coming. darkness, my old friend. <laughs> well, um. So the 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 merchant is fifty feet ahead of you now, with his cobbled together wagon. Um, are you just gonna keep following the road that he's on? Yes, yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna get to uh, the next town here. Uh, but yeah. I turn to Lushu and say, Lushu, you need to stay in the very back behind us. <laughs> yes. I just turn around, back again, just like this, and just go. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> I also have my diary out to make sure <clears throat> that he's going in, uh, going to the right the right the right places that he describes in in the book and, i honestly and, thought uh, you were about to say about i was going to write in my book about how this rogue really fucked up and it was funny oh okay, <laughs> okay i wrote that, that make that's a note of that as well <laughs> you know that you know i write about my everyday life that's mm -hmm. already in there on a side note lushu tried to cop a feel of the merchant the merchant, <laughs> the merchant, the merchant ended did not up take kindly straight up clocking him across the face God damn it. <laughs> I don't know what type of accent I'm trying to do for my elf. Do you know what? The, the worst thing is, this guy's a traveling merchant. He's going to go to other towns, and eventually I'm going to go to a town, and someone's going to know me as the fucking... <laughs> as the guy who tried to cop a feel of the merchant. Yep. Like, I'm going to come across a random... Like come across a uh, random NPC who's like... totally going to happen. Look, I know you. <laughs> You're the guy that likes to feel up And then we're going to have to buy all of your materials because they won't let you near them. <laughs> they will not. I've really fucked myself. Walls, I'm just so going to go. They're asking walls as they, like, walk around <laughs> you. Like, no, no. Yo. No, no, no. At least you know, no, no. <laughs> Like, you, oh, don't, you, don't shit. Turn, you don't turn away from Lushu. Oh my god, a bard is gonna sing songs. For more reason than one. <laughs> okay, so I rejoin the others after <laughs> I know after my like, my Your sulking bout sucking. of embarrassment. Um, embarrassment. Yeah, and uh, I just say to them, okay then, so what are we doing? Are we following the merchant? Like one final decision. Are we following the merchant? Because we can, I'm guessing from 50 feet away, we can still see him. He's still in line of sight, right? Okay. Yeah, he's so still in line of sight. Okay, like awesome. feet of okay right. And so quickly, we need to decide are we following Rokex him yes. or are we yeah. going to the next town? Rokex is following him. So I say we, we should all follow Rokex, to be fair. We should all go together. We shouldn't split up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then. So we're all going to meet on the path here, I guess. I'll just move Corin down here. There we go. Oh, I, yes, I don't even, I don't even have the, the map merchant. open anymore, so... Oh, we're, we're, we're fucking around with it for yeah. RP reasons, don't worry. Yeah, I, I mean, okay, I'm in the RP screen, so I don't even see Fantasy Grounds right now, so... And Lushu, you are behind the rest of us. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, like, over here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just nervous. <laughs> you should leave me. There you go, don't 15 get feet away, just... Uh... I, I still like how the half-elf has cowed the full elf. Into submission at this point. Yeah, the, the guy who's like, <laughs> like the thieves' guild, most pronounced thief in the world, most like you know, assassin, just kind of defeated by. <laughs> just by that, 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 110 pounds. A mysterious <laughs> mini elf. Like, God damn it. <laughs> like, how tall are you even? Seven foot four or something? Like... <laughs> yeah, no, wait, no, 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 six, six four, okay. six four. Because it, it's around, it's around medium, a medium to average height for uh, uh, Elder and Elf. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm an absolute foot taller than you. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Leave Lucio alone. He's embarrassed right now. Okay, just le leave him to trot alone in the back. He can't and... perform under pressure. Obviously, I can't perform under pressure. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but now, but now I do have. I will say this: Lushu now has an even greater distrust of Pancog. That is your. I, I, that I is just, 100 that, yeah, of oh, course God. it is. Of course it is. He's got a massive ego. That's his thing. He's a big thief. Oh my He's God. the best thief. Never been like all this sort of stuff. With anything to do with thievery, and then all of a sudden, this Within this little elf out of nowhere. 
within yeah, 24 hours. Let's well, go ahead out happens. of the way. <laughs> exactly, my dude. It, it, it's embarrassing. Oh, so. Oh, my God. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> All right. Okay, so did you guys ever figure out where you're going? I, there's only one yes, road. Yes, we're, we're following the merchant. We okay. are still following right, the right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. We, we do. I'm 100 do. feet behind the merchant at this point. Okay, you're just I, ahead. I assume that we All right. Pa Rocox is like 50 I, feet these guys you guys. are you guys been talking <laughs> and Rocox is well, like, All right. I, I would I would probably be behind him also <laughs> yeah because she doesn't understand the the complexity of yeah the other she's, creatures. she's feeling anxious and uncomfortable with whatever the hell is happening back there <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she can tell there's like a weird aura going situation. on but I'm not quite understanding yeah. what it is so I decided to break off from Cowing Lushu some more to, yeah. <laughs> to Corin and uh, Rokax. Okay. Okay, hold up. <laughs> that was a thing. Okay. So you guys are gonna just gonna continue traveling onto the road. Um, I guess uh, this is where uh, we can call it here. But uh, by next session, you guys will have arrived <laughs> at the uh, the next town, and uh, that's where we can pick up. Unfortunately, we couldn't end on a, a cliffhanger or anything fun uh, because all the internet <laughs> issues and stuff today. But um, mm, I think we left pretty good with with uh, we did not you, harassing, sexually harassing. We did not. <laughs> yeah. We did, we, did, we did not end well. That was a. <laughs> that was. A we ended very unwell. Well, Holy at least crap. it's not a a giant Goliath <laughs> crying on me this time. Yeah. That's <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to steal something and you cop to feel. Or you I'm attempted sure. to cop a feel. I didn't! He thought I did! Yeah. God damn it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does. It doesn't matter. You didn't even steal his heart. Uh, yeah, you man, didn't you're even buy him a drink. It matches the drapes. What else do you think? Alright, okay, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm pretty, pretty sure he has. For the sake of this. For the sake of this. The last roll I'm going to do for tonight, I'm going to try and roll a persuasion check to see if I can actually persuade you guys that that is not what happened. <laughs> so that's going to go really well for me in the future, or really fucking bad. Right. So let's have a look. Hold, hold on, persuasion. No, no, no. You, you don't roll there. Oh. Roll, you're all going to roll into your dice tower. It's in the bottom right corner. Oh. So you roll your deception into that, Lushu. Or your... Deception? Pers your, your, your persuasion, sorry. And oh, then, I drag it onto dice tower. Yeah, drag it into the dice tower. I okay. will, no one else is going to see the rolls. I will. And then everyone else is going to counter roll with uh, insight. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, by rolling into the dice tower as well. Oh, I got to... This is not going to go well for me, is it? I'm going to be known as the weird perverted rogue for the rest of the campaign. Uh, <laughs> insight. <laughs> you're, you're probably full Rokax. <laughs> he's he's not the wisest of them all. I I went ahead and just yeah, rolled but from what he's seen, 20, he... so I definitely know. <laughs> oh, you rolled an eleven though. Ugh. No, no, yeah. it's on the dice tower thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that roll didn't count apparently. Good. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> so... I don't like that laugh. I don't like it. Well, I'm looking well, at the rolls to like see it. how it is. The smiling PM is not our friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's me looking at the rolls to see uh, how I'm going to explain this. Um, okay. Uh, Corn completely, mm -hmm. com completely uh, believes you. She just thinks that you were just kind of... It was just some strange tradition that she doesn't understand. So she's like, okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Um, Hancock... <laughs> Is like, all right, I kind of think it, but it's funny to think about that uh, you were trying to feel him up. Uh, Two people got, all right, good. I, I knew <laughs> that he wasn't trying to, but again, the merchant can spin the tail however he yep. wants. <laughs> Rokax, yep. he, he knows, but he doesn't care whatsoever. Uh, Echo knows that obviously you weren't trying to do it, but everyone's just giving you a hard time. So, okay, so everyone in the yeah, party knows, knows I'm not a pervert. That's great. For the great. most part, that you weren't doing it. No. Corin doesn't understand whatever happened, so. She, she yeah, yeah. She, oh, wait, no, no. Mm? Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's how it would work. Never mind, yeah, it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> My one redeeming role this entire campaign. Yeah. 
<laughs> and and here I thought I was the one <laughs> seducing people and I being know, the right? favorite. The one with, uh, <laughs> the Well, I didn't was, mean to. Fucking, the road. Just because we know <laughs> doesn't mean we're not going to find that knife, though. You, you didn't even get some, at least. Right, yeah. I mean, if you're going to attempt it, you might to as well fair, attempt to get some on the side. To be fair, he's actually gotten almost more action by doing not on purpose. <laughs> yeah, but to oh, be yeah. fair, can we just go back to that backflip, though? <laughs> <laughs> can we go <laughs> back to that backflip, though? That backflip over the cart, though. Classic Let's just run. talk about oh, it. Oh, <laughs> the fucking misdirection. <laughs> bullshit there. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, I it? definitely, I definitely feel like Corn would be so confused about all this and be like, "I." F it, she would definitely feel like he wasn't actually trying to do that, but that came off the wrong way. Yeah. And I am going She's to be a nice party member and go up to Corin and attempt to explain to her, "No, he was not purposely trying to do that. That okay. is what we perceived, and that's what the merchant perceived." You're uh, explaining humor to her. <laughs> I'm, I'm You're explaining just him. Uh, yes. No, we I'm don't hate that him. We're just. We didn't. <laughs> this is what friends do. Oh, that's a perfect. It's opportunity. a ruse. Yo. It's what we call a ruse. Corin, that's a perfect opportunity. If you don't understand this and she's explaining humor to you and how you razz people that you like, please use that to your advantage. And make weird <laughs> razzing stuff. Oh my god. I will. Just every now and again, come out with something it. incredibly random. I, I feel like since she doesn't face. really understand, like, humans much, she'd probably just be taking oh, notes oh, on you it. Know what? I'm explaining okay. it. That's a, this is a perfect opportunity Friends for you to to each to... other when they like each other. This but, like, is strange. Dragonborn right in your like, book. Like, like, if Dragonborn, like, punch each other. Be for... mean to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Use this at earliest next convenience. Jeez. <laughs> it's okay. basically um boy likes girl pulls ponytail <laughs> but we're friends <laughs> we don't actually like each other it's essentially in that kind of all right um it's late for our friends and uh some of us are getting tired so uh let's wrap up for this week um hopefully <laughs> internet stuff is all fixed for all of us uh by next week and uh hopefully we can start getting into some fun I stuff. I will be intrigued to see the notes. Fortunately, uh, I will be slightly ahead, which I will probably just procrastinate and then be normal the week after because we're just going to burn through all it. And <laughs> I won't be prepping for a, a week or something. But uh, I hope you guys are having fun. Uh, oh, quick question before we go. go Did we level up? No. From that encounter, we didn't. Okay. Because you said last time about learning the level three skills, et cetera, in case you level up. So yeah, I was that like, is okay. more um, for speed, Just in case. speed of the, the campaign in case we level up. Um, okay. Generally, leveling well, just up thought I'd ask, it? Just in case. And it's nice to know what is available to you as a character class that's coming up to not only necessarily get excited for, but think of situations where you can use some of your new abilities kind of thing. Um, I find that helps. But uh, yeah. Um, you guys, uh, let's go ahead and sign off here, so go ahead and say goodbye, and then I'll do a, an outro and stuff. But, uh, Bye. later, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you for watching us, be random. Thank you for watching. See ya. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. That was hilarious <laughs> and fun. Uh, I love those people. They they that crack me up. But I that hope you guys fun. had fun. Oh god, um, <laughs> that was that was an endeavor. That was awesome. Uh, I hope you guys again. I can't wait to see the notes. Have some fun. Um, if I'm. You, uh, if you did remember to like, subscribe, comment, to next. I'm gonna be known as the pervert in every single liking, town in this uh, campaign, dude. This again next uh, I'm gonna go there, and the barman's gonna be like, "Oh, hello there." Oh, are fixed like we said. Um, are you that rogue that fills up much? Ah, oh, dude. Screen after uh, we all came back. <laughs> Not looking oh, forward well. to that. That's gonna be a funny one. <laughs> anyway, um, but oh, God. Yeah, eventually you'll get to uh, pick pocket somebody. Uh, up somebody. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But until Players then, I can still jab on him so for attempting to steal from and, uh, me. Oh, wait a minute. That's something I gotta remember. I've got an inspiration point. Yeah, so I'll remember that for next time. I should keep that. No, we all have gold stars. They're very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. We are. I think everyone has an inspiration point except for Rokex. Thank you guys for us, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. See ya.
All right, guys, I'll catch you guys.